Sony PMW dash EX1. Um, I'm just going to do a, a strip down of this um, unit down as far as the lens. Uh, it will get you in as far as lens replacement. It's a it's a big job. Um, normally, the total time replace doing this job um, would be about five hours. First thing we have to do is remove the handle, and to do that we get, have to take off this cover. So we'll just take off this mic assembly first. So I'm going to start off with this two screws in here in the mic holders, and then there's two here, and there's also a hidden screw underneath here. Uh, I'll just take off the mic holder. You can see there's a screw right there. Last screw is here. And it should lift. Okay, we should clip on the left hand side now. This rubber pad comes out of the way. Next thing we have to take off is this back cover. There's one screw here. That comes off. Now there's a little cover in here. It's got to come off and there's a screw each side that retains that in. around and this cover should come off that's the cover off here and there's a little lettery connector in here that goes down here so that's got to come just be part it they will just as you can see it'll come apart and there's a back end then we got to just slip this off and we just got to get this uh, zoom button out of the way there's three screws hold that in three silver screws with a little uh, washer on it just to get at these uh, two screws here for the front end of the handle. Two black screws. They're larger than the rest of them. Next thing we have to do is remove this EVF. And there is a clip here for the EVF cable. out and then we should have um, four screws holding in place four silver ones two beneath the EVF here And then we have two here on the top end. That's 
VVF out. Lift this clip upwards and this cable comes out. Now we undo these two uh, screws for the rear of the handle. They're larger screws. This handle now should lift up, but there is a cable. This cable here has got to slide out, and there is another cable. So, sorry, there is one here at the side as well. Small screw. out and then there's this cable here that just pulls out now we're going to remove these two bottom uh, covers here there's four screws here for the tripod bracket these are larger, sorry, longer uh, black screws. Just forward them. I normally keep them separate so I don't mix them up. Putting the short ones in here would uh, cause problems when you mount it on a tripod. It could shear the, the, the screws. So make sure you put the long ones back in here at this particular point. Get this out. Now we have all these screws to come out. One here. Here one here. Another one here. And we have uh, one here that goes onto the memory battery. And then at the side, we got another one here. And we have another one on this side as well, right beside the SD out. That's the eye out, I should say. One cover. Second cover. Now I'm going to take off these uh, side plates here. These side covers. The silver one. Another one this side. This hole here is not you, uh, you put no screw in this when you're putting them back. Uh, when the bottom covers go on, the screw goes through them holes. So make sure you just, when you're reassembling, that you just put a screw to the front end of each side cover. And we have two screws each side then on the top of the side covers.
no cables to worry about there. And no cables to worry about there. Now I'm going to remove this uh, rear cover. There's four screws holding this in place. Uh, just get a better view of it here, this way. It's not sit, uh, sitting on its lens at the moment. There, there's this cover here. It's resting on that, so I'm not do, risking any damage to the, the lens. You don't want to scratch uh, a lens. They're very easily marked. When you're cleaning them, you don't rub them hard. You use very soft uh, cloths. Lift up. And then this side, then we have a cable that goes into it. You can plug it out from this point here. It's out. And you have this here, uh, these buttons here. They got to come off. There's two silver screws here. Yeah. Underneath here, then you have a cable. Right at that point there, that just comes out, clips down. That's it. I'm going to take out this battery uh, holder here. Uh, there's four screws in here and one up here. Side of the battery. Don't to come out here at the side, and that's that out of the way. Now we're in a position here uh, that we can see all our PCBs. There's quite a few of them in there. But first of all, I'm going to take this cover here off first, so the silver cover. out there is a heat transfer sheet here that is stuck to it so only recommend you place replace these um, with new uh, heat strips every time you disassemble and reassemble now I'm going to go to the bottom of the camera and I'm going to take this metal cover off there's two screws here And you have to watch when you're pulling this uh, cover up. The memory backup battery comes with it. So you have to lift it up nice and handy. You don't want it damage your cable. And as you can see, there is a cable in here. I don't know if you can get it or not. Let's get a closer shot. That's the cable connector there. And there's a cable going into it. Just pull, pull, close out. That's that out of the way. Next thing I'm taking out now is this top PCB. There's four screws holding it in. Four silver ones. I should lift out. There is a close entity at the board below. Connector here, 
goes into this connector here. And now we have this cable here, and that just slides off as well. Okay. We'll take out these uh, your, your card readers out. And there's three screws this side. And we've got two screws this side, but we have to pull these cables out as well. They have to slot back into their correct slot, otherwise it won't work. But normally they fall into place uh, uh, when you're putting them back in. They line up, as you can see, with their connectors. That goes to the top one, that goes to the bottom. Now we've got this two screws here at the back. this one here to this side and miss that and that's it it's going to be a bit tricky to come out now let's start out now I'm going to have to take this board here out and uh, I'm going to take this bracket off here first the bracket here get that out of the way So then have the screw here to come out and that holds in a cable below, there's a cable below here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it, but it's right underneath, it's got to come out. This here, spongy part of that pushes up against the cable and holds it in place to stop it from falling out. Make sure it goes back in because if you don't have it in there, after a bit of camera use, that cable is going to disconnect if you don't put that in. And uh, this is the cable here that I'm talking about, it just comes out. four screws holding this in, just two this side and two this side. Two this side as well and this bracket will come off here, it's a little bracket for holding the last PCB in place that comes out with this. That's the bracket. Now I want to take this uh, DVI uh, port off. Two screws. Then I want to take its mountain bracket off as well. Just three screws holding it.
Next thing I have to take off is this black screw here that holds that cable onto that metal bracket. It's a very, fairly short, stubby one, so I'll just stick him back in so you know where he goes. He comes out here. Now we want to take off this bracket here. There's two screws here at the front. And another two screws. Another one here. There's also two screws down here at the back as well. We have a heat, um, heat transfer sheet here as well, and Sony also recommend that's replaced as well. Just going to pull this uh, SDI connector off, and then I'm going to take this PCB here out. Just one screw down here. side if you can I don't know if you can get it in view there yes there you are this plastic cover here has got to come out as well that's the way it goes back in with them two face in that direction. These two cables got to be coming out. Just pull them out. There's that one final screw to come out here. Now this should lift up. Another heat transfer sheet here, beneath this. So we're just going to take this bracket here off. Four screws hold it in. And also this put here on the plastic of the SDI holder comes out as well. It's five all together, not four. That comes off. And then just peel back this heat transfer sheet. Now we're in at the uh, main DPR289 PCB. This is the one that's got all the firmware contained in it here at the bottom below all these uh, 
covers and cables. So I'm just going to start by taking a few connectors off here at the bottom first. We've got two cables here. Bring it over. This cable here that goes out here to your DVI, just lift that up. That'll come out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the four screws that retain this cover on. Four screws. And they're silver, but there's two different types of silver screws. There's one more silvery than the other. These are more chrome um, than the other ones. I'll keep them separate. And the same with the ones on the uh, EVF. They hold the EVF in there. Different colour as well. I don't know what the difference is. Yeah, just going to lift this heat sink or uh, heat shield off. And, uh, we have um, this here. Oh, yeah. This has got to be fed in so we don't tear it. And that comes off. Okay, we're just going to get these two cables here out of the way now. And then we got these three cables here. They just clip up like boys. And our TPR2894 now should lift up. And out of the, uh, the camera. About a thousand pounds worth of uh, uh, PCB there. So be careful. Now we want to take this uh, cast off here, and there's two screws here. She won there. I don't know. She can you get it? Maybe get it this angle. One here, and another one here. And there's another one hit beneath here. You just peel back this heat transfer uh, cushion. Yeah. There's one in the centre. And then we have this one in here. Just pull this out. That's the orientation of that one is going back in. Yeah, just set off. Now we've got to remove this cover here. There's four screws to hold it in place. Have uh, for holding the covers.
Now, if we look at it here, we've got black ones, uh, screws on this side, and silver ones on this side. Um, don't know why, but that's the, the way they do it. And uh, what I do is normally, I'll take this PCB here off first. There's two silver screws. loose and then we take the two silver screws off this side then we go down here to the bottom we go under the two silver screws here And as you can see, there's one cable holding it in here, and that comes out. Now we've got to get this side off, and it's the same process. Two black screws here, the top. And we have another one there just at your AV port here. And also there would be one there at your, this is your service port here at that particular point there. That's your service port there. And there would be a cover over that and there would be a screw hold in that place and you have to take that screw out as well. What's that? We are really now in as far as I'm going to go with this uh, without risking uh, getting dirt now in the uh, lens. If I take this cover here off, it does start opening up the lens to dust. I only take that off if I'm changing the lens and I keep the lens covered as long as possible before I put this into it. But if you wanted to change this handle unit, which it does get damaged around here, that's a weak point there. You would have to take off this board and this board, these two boards, thoroughly screwed in, pull out these cables, then remove this CCD unit off. And there's, there's three screws, there's one in here, another one here. And another one down hit here, it slides right down that section there where that uh, groove is in there. Just right down there, there's another one there. Take them three out, that'll come out. And then you got, I think it's five or six screws that go around. And this whole assembly, handle assembly will come off. But remember, yeah, as soon as you get this off, you got dust going around. I would uh, put some kind of a cover 
on the actual lens. Put some of the covers, don't let dirt in there. Um, don't use cloth material because if you use cloth material, lint, lint comes off that uh, cloth material. Um, that's as far as I'm going to strip it down. Now you would, you once you have this handle off, disassemble for that. You, you're really down to your lens assembly then, and uh, that's why, as far as you got to go, if you want to replace a lens on these. Likewise, a lens for one of these is about a thousand pound as well, somewhere around a thousand pound changes by the by the, the month. Um, you'd have to check current Sony prices for that. And uh, now what we have to do is start doing the reassembly. <laughs> 